How could the majority of scientists and doctors been so wrong regarding COVID and its treatment? Should we ever trust them again? Um, two points. Should we ever trust them again is a complex question because there's, you know, on the one hand, no. And on the other hand, what choice do we have? So the question is, how can we resurrect medicine so this never happens again and they can be trusted? How can we resurrect trustworthiness in medicine? That's the yes. question. Yes. Um, how could this have happened? I think that's a very interesting story and one that needs to be explored. And we're not going to do it fully here, but I do think there this episode in history has revealed some things that we knew that needed mm. greater um, insight you know mass formation and all is not a new concept but we've now understood something about how it functions that i think certainly many of us did not know and maybe nobody did um, but in some sense you had people uh, you know there aren't very many uh, professions with an oath Medicine has an oath, mm -hmm. right? We had doctors by the hundreds of thousands violate this oath. How did they do that? Did they know they were violating the oath? Did they violate a deeper obligation to themselves and lie to themselves so they wouldn't violate their professional oath? And if so, what is happening now, right? At what point? How many of them who engaged in self-deception in order to get through it are still self-deceived? Right. And at yeah. what point is your self-deception so willful and egregious that it doesn't even count as self-deception because you know that you're running from a truth that's right in front of you? And I don't know how we deal with this, but I will say the one piece of actual wisdom I have on this front is, yes, the vast number of doctors who saw things understood that there was more to this puzzle, understood that those of us who were concerned about it were not crazy and didn't say anything, have in, they have engaged in an egregious breach of trust. They did so under duress, right? This did not happen in a vacuum. This happened with threats to livelihood and ability to earn. It happened with threats to reputation. There will always be duress. Well, there will always be duress, and I expect people to um, to stand up under that kind of pressure because what's what's at stake when it's doctors who uh, buckle is life, right? But you don't want to rush to the conclusion that these people are effectively no longer doctors. The question is, how can we confront what happened so that we can rebuild medicine without having to start from scratch? Yeah. I guess, I mean, I have a lot of questions. And one of the questions that comes to mind here is, uh, given how much evidence there is now for a variety of forms of early treatment in the scientific literature, in empirical experience by many doctors in the U.S., and in the formal protocols being adopted by many other countries, how do American doctors continue to explain pretend. to themselves, <clears throat> justify, say to patients, if you get COVID, the only avenue open to you is yet another pharmaceutical. It's called Paxlovid. How do they do that? How? 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 So, so the only way to protect yourself is one of our vaccines. And the only way to deal with it once you're sick, which you will get sick, even if you get the vaccine, it's not like it helps with that, is Paxlovid. I, 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 I don't see it. I, can't, I, can't, I cannot get... I, I, yeah. I, 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 I just don't know how you could possibly, if you are a practicing doctor who is actually recommending courses of action to patients, and you are not telling them, to get in the sun and consider laying in, especially in the winter, and taking regularly D and C and magnesium and zinc and having a supply of melatonin on hand and still super dicey in the U.S., got us demonetized, but for fuck's sake, hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin 
Yep. Are good treatment. Yep. And they're good early treatment. And almost everyone else in the world knows this. What is going on? Yeah, and that's half the story too, because at the same time that they are recommending uh, the dangerous novel pharmaceutical and failing to recommend the things that actually work, they are also continuing to recommend vaccination when increasingly doctors have the evidence in front of them of people who have maladies that they shouldn't have. Yeah, and you know, okay, also the doctors who were doing these recommendations, you have a patient in front of you. That patient has some number of comorbidities, some of which they can take control of with changes to diet and lifestyle. That's what you encourage them to do. Yeah. You do not pretend that you fix your health with pills and you keep on doing all the crap things that you are doing. All of us do things we shouldn't do and which impair our health. All of us make decisions that are bad sometimes. This is not about blaming the obese or blaming the people with diabetes or with kidney failure or anything. But many of these conditions have in them an element which can be improved with changes that the individual can take with regard to their behavior and the choices they make. They should be doing that and their doctor should be telling them that they should be doing that. Yeah. Not I mean, simply writing a script. In fact... Um, it is dereliction of duty. It is dereliction of duty, and this goes way before COVID. Yes. Right? The fact yes, is preventive medicine is not a new concept. It is obviously the right thing to be uh, advocating, and a system yes. that is hell-bent on waiting for you to get sick, diagnosing your sickness quickly, and throwing a pill at you without regard for its uh, side effects, um, that's obviously not a system interested in your health. And this is precisely what, um, you know, the, the allopathic medicine, the MDs are much more likely to do the like, I'll just write you a script and make deal with your symptoms. Maybe not. Maybe I'll see you for another 10 minutes in six months. Maybe not. Um, but, you know, we started the show, our, our new sponsor, this, this outfit, Wisdom Health, that is helping connect um, functional medicine doctors with patients. That's most of those, that's going to be naturopaths. Um, and I can say now, having dealt extensively pre-COVID, you know, forget COVID for the moment if you can, um, that the allopathic medicine industry uh, is largely very confused on questions of evolution and diagnosis. And you're far more likely to find people who are willing to and interested in thinking and in actually laying hands on your body and figuring out what is going on with you over an osteopath and naturopath territory, much more likely. Yep, I agree. Yep. 